Welcome to GNU TechMax. In this demo, I will show how to write a simple scientific article. So assume that we just started TechMax and that we got this blank screen. We first select the document style, which should be article in our case. We next insert a title. After pressing return, I can enter my name. Pressing enter once more, I can also enter my affiliation. I next go down with the cursor. I actually go to the right, since there is no nothing down yet. After pressing return, I can now insert the abstract. In TechMax, there are usually at least three or four ways to perform the same editing action. Assume, for instance, that we want to insert a new section. We can first use the top level menus. Another way to do the same thing is to use the icon toolbars. When available, these menus also show equivalent keyboard shortcuts. For those among you who are familiar with LaTeX, yet another possibility is to use LaTeX commands. More precisely, backslash section followed by enter also inserts a new section title. Various standard environments are already present in TechMax. Assume, for instance, that we want to insert a theorem or give the proof. Wow, that's easy, right? Let us now show how to type some mathematics. Short, so called inline formulas can be obtained by hitting the dollar key. Subscripts can be obtained using the menus or the underscore key. We exit the subscript using the cursor keys by going to the right. By hitting the comma key twice, we can insert two commas separated by dots. And voila! It is also possible to enter so-called displayed equations that span over an entire line. Superscripts can be obtained using the hat key. We may number our equation using Ctrl Sharp or using the following button. In order to refer to this equation, we first have to label it using escape exclamation sign. The label is activated by pressing enter. This allows us to refer to the equation using escape question mark and we notice that TechMax implements tab completion for the label names. We also notice that references are active in the sense that we can go to the matching label just by clicking on it. In a similar way we may create active citations. For this we first need to save our document 
in the same directory as the file with our bibliographic entries. We next insert the bibliography using the menus. This causes us to be prompted for a bibliography file in BibTeX format. Of course, we also have to enter a few citations. We finally update our document, and in particular the bibliography, using the following button. We may need to do this thrice in order to let all changes be taken into account. Again, all citations are active. Having completed our first document, we may now admire the result by previewing or printing it. As promised, what you see is what you get.